Hello, all my crafty friends. I'm back with a share of a project that I've been working on for a long time. I'm, doesn't it feel good when you finally get those done? Um, this is, I've made three of them. These are uh, altered three ring binders. And uh, I'll give you the tutorial in 20 seconds. Bring all your glue to the table to glue on the outside. It took epoxy, Gorilla Glue, E6000, Fabri-Tac, and some white glue to, to, to do this all, but that's all you need is glue. I have, uh, I started with a regular black binder, three ring binder, and my husband actually had picked these up on sale a couple years ago at an uh, back to school sale after all the kids were back and they were marked down. Um, and what I did was I've covered it with layers of canvas and uh, lace tablecloths and runners that I've cut pieces out of. And there is a coilless safety pin with some really cool beads and an emblem. This one says, use your wings. Pretty sure that's the new Tim Holtz. And the back has continued lace, got some great cable knit tassels around the bottom and down the spine I've covered it with uh, burlap and lace which you can get in most <clears throat> floral sections but the showpiece the showstopper is this crinkly seam binding oh I'm just in love um, my scrap cabin has sent me some fabulous colors to work with and I just I've kind of divided them into to color codes and rediscovering my uh, my love of seam binding. She's got them in pastels and forest colors. And she has them all arranged in groups. It's wonderful. Um, like going into a candy shop. So I'll put the link for her shop below. It's wonderful. And then I was even more happy to find out when I used them and I had used up my first color, she's got it written on the back so that you know just what that is. Wonderful. I left the closure extra long um, for several reasons. Selfishly, I love it when I have extra on this. And then if I ever want to make a tag, I can usually take six inches off the bottom and, and have that kind of coordinate with the closure. Or we could just trim it and let it be shorter. So I call this a book of knowledge. It's a place to write down um, herbal knowledge, concoctions, recipes, things of that type. It's about healing energy. Um, and I made these for a couple of my girlfriends that are really into this. On the inside, I have not done much modification at all. This is just a pocket, and I put in some uh, pretty paper with that gorgeous angel and a tag, some little stamping. And then these were some pages that I was playing with when I was making uh, digi sets for my for my shop. I haven't put these in there. Uh, it's just kind of a thrown together, vibrant thing. Um, but I thought that was neat. And I printed it. And then any of the printed pages, I stitched a piece of tea dyed um, regular paper with the little file label so you could title what the pages were about with notes. And some more tea dyed pages. Um, the dividers, I use the K Syrah Syrah uh, paper. Uh, I'll think of which company has it. And a little, little charm of the moon. And then this is kind of my standard full moon stuff. I usually print this onto tea dyed pages when I've done anything celestial or moon related. And it's got all the full moon dates from 2018 gone by through 2056. It's a very complete list. And I sewed the pages together and made a pocket on the outside. 
with a little gift tag inside. Just a little fun place to tuck stuff. And I did the same for the next page. Make every day one to remember. Love that stamp. And one more tag. A little sunshine. And some information about how the almanacs and old school uh, farmers and, and scientists and such did things by the moon schedule. A little stenciling. Some great stickers that I've put on some regular pages throughout. Be filled with wonder. And just from my scraps, I had a little sunshine I stuck on there and made a little pocket. Some fabulous trim and a little stamped office tag. A crystal that says strength. I love these stickers. They are, they are the Happy Planner Stargazer. And they have these on sale in Joann's right now. Okay. Lots of blank pages. It's for them to fill out. And this tab says healing. And I've got some charms here. These are chakra charms. These are the uh, old recipes for herbal teas that are anti-cancer. So I just put that in there as an example for my friends. And uh, probably you have half of those things growing nearby. I love that. The soul always knows what to do to heal itself. The challenge is to silence the mind. Isn't that a great quote? I love that. Really fun designs. I snuck some little fairies in there. Some great um, brushes that I was playing with in, in Photoshop. I put on some of the tea dyed paper. And just a little patched tab. Oh, I love that stamp. Isn't that the best? So, just nothing too spectacular for the rest. Little pictures and stamp tags. More of the same. Oh, there is the mushroom page. Little dandelion stamps. I had fun with the mushrooms. The uh, stamps are Tim Holtz. The ink stamps are Tim Holtz. The pretty mushroom postage stamps came from my girlfriend, Amelia. Thank you. And oh, great. This is such a good sticker. And it has some mushrooms growing in a terrarium. I just clipped it to it. Some more stamping. Some great washi down the edge. And then on the back. And some more mushroom stickers. This is one of my favorite color pages. Isn't that fabulous? We have the Fibonacci sequence, sacred geometry in the middle of a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron. <laughs> and a little button on my energy tab there.
some more great pages with pockets in them. Another fun little patched tab. Oh, a crafty sticker. I love that feeling crafty. I think, I think that's, oh, one more. We have fossils in the tree of life which has been depicted so many ways through ancient books and illustrations and fossils. And then in the back pocket, I put, um, I was making poo journals a while back. As I said, I've been working on these a long time and I was taking a page out of the Tau of Pooh and the Tay of Piglet and came across this fabulous page and thought of my friend who's getting this and um so I took the page out and it made it it made it to the back pocket yay and these are some really fun craft stickers so that is the Purple Tide book. And here are the other two I made. Uh, this one has a ceramic owl on the safety pin, and uh, this one says Remnants. And the third one also has a butterfly in the light blue. And this is Full of Wonder. So that is my uh, altered binders. <laughs> I was going to say planners. My altered binders. Um, definitely check out my scrap cabin. Check out Neri Ortez, DC Scrapping Rooster. I will also put her link below. Uh, I've integrated so many of the lace snippets and things that I've gotten from her that um, they're throughout and she's just a, another wonderful resource for uh, antique lace trim, all, all sorts of wonderful creative things. Um, what else, what else? I, I am almost finished filming that course that I keep promising. I really am. It's uh, It's got quite a few uh, sections to it and it, I think that that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so I will be back sooner than later. My tomatoes aren't uh, getting red yet and, and I'm trying to finish up filming before the deluge starts so I will be back um, with you all soon I hope you're having a great summer thanks for all your support and well wishes and comments and I'll talk to you soon have a great day bye bye